Well, did you feel the chaos of the parade? <laughs> did you hear the clamoring as you returned to your seats? Were you eyewitnesses this year to the parade? Today, we're combining the Palm Sunday reading with the liturgy of the Passion, the Last Supper, the trial, and crucifixion of Jesus Christ. Worship, if you haven't guessed already, is going to look a little different as we use a piece called The Cry of the Whole Congregation. The author, Walter Wangerin Jr., says about our worship this morning, this drama has no audience. All are actors. None objective. All subjective. Or else the objects of the driving love of God. No one here this morning will be objective. All of us will be actively participating in the reading of the scriptures. All of us are actors as we all have a part to play in rejecting Jesus Christ. You can follow along on the screens. Your parts will be marked congregation, all men, and all women at various points through the service. Remembering is a central part of our tradition, as well as a central part of the tradition of our faith ancestors, the Jewish people. Deuteronomy 4.9 tells us, Only guard yourself and guard your soul carefully, lest you forget the things your eyes saw, and lest these things depart your heart all the days of your life. And you shall make them known to your children and to your children's children. Remembering, though, is more than just thinking about a past event, as we will experience this Thursday night with the Seder dinner, this holy remembering invites us into the story, invites us in to be eyewitnesses so that they become our own, so that these stories live inside us, so that we tell them to our church's children and our children's children. As we travel through the readings this morning, I invite you to hold this question in your heart. Where are you? Where are you? Are you part of the crowd waving your palms and shouting Hosanna? Or shouting crucify him? Are you asking questions of Jesus? Is it you who betrays Jesus? Are you like Peter, unwilling to admit to your discipleship in public? Are you like the women who wail or the men who mock and ridicule the Savior, our Savior who finds power in weakness? Do you pray to Jesus or do you condemn his followers or do you just watch on the sidelines? in the midst of the palms and the passion, where, where are you an eyewitness to the movements of Jesus? And how can you be a witness to the world of what we experience this morning? For we cannot just be witnesses to the grace, forgiveness, and freedom that we find in Christ. We must, too, be witnesses to our failures as disciples as we choose fear and the status quo over giving our lives fully to Christ. The reality is that we praise Jesus on Sunday morning in worship and then forget to love our neighbors, forget to tend to the least of these. We forget to live the way that Christ teaches us. The reality is, is that we want to make God in our image instead of living our calling as bearing the image of God. We want a king who obeys us instead of surrendering our lives to the king. The reality is 
We'd rather stay on the sidelines watching rather than do the hard, messy work of justice with jump or reaching out to strangers. We are caught in the tension of being sinful and redeemed, of knowing the call to live a Christ-like life, but finding it more difficult than we thought. And we are called to live into this tension as we are eyewitnesses to the palms and the passion, to the celebration and the mourning, to the praise and the betrayal, the last supper and the last words of Christ. So come and let us remember once more. Amen.